Or good night, or whatever time you are watching this video. Oh, I'm already tired, like just by saying that. You know what I'm more tired of? My hip dips. I'm so tired of that. So, anyways, and I was like, mm, I need to do something about it. So, I did. I found out Hannah Millie's workout. This is the workout video that I did for the past 21 days. Curvier, wider hips. Workout, it's a hip dip fix, so I tried that workout. Besides all the boy problems that I've been having, these hip dips are like my second biggest insecurity. But you know what? That is just the way your body is. You're so beautiful. It took me a lot of time to digest that thought inside my head that I'm still beautiful, my body is still beautiful. Does this workout really work for hip dips or not? Keep watching to find out. Anyways, before we get right into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do not forget to follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Let's get right into the video. Hold up, hold up. Before we get right into the video, I want to introduce you guys to something. And that is this. This is the six in one slimming and beautifying a machine. Now, what does this machine do? Now, this machine helps you lose weight, lose body fat, get rid of cellulite, uh, improve skin quality, get rid of your dark spots, get rid of your acne. This beautifying machine has so many benefits. That's why it's called six in one. Basically, in this package comes this Bell Glory P. Of course, it comes with the power adapter, the electrode conductors, gloves, and safe glasses and the product construction is this beautifying machine has so many different options you know what the best part is you could use two functions at the same time once you put it on co-mode but so this product is amazing and it's very convenient for you if you are lazy or you just don't have the time to hit the gym also you will be saving shit tons of money if you purchase this product so you don't have to actually go in for treatment and get this done you can head over to their website over here and you can go check out the product you could go check out the reviews of how people have loved this product and if you're thinking of purchasing it you could always use my code right over here also guys currently they are having a sale up to 60 percent so you better go get that before it ends anyways now that we're done with the sponsored video Let's get right into the video which you're here for. So yeah, let's go. So, today is the first day. First of all, I would like to say we love a queen who explains everything. Oh god, here. We love a queen who can explain everything to us before getting into the video and to understand our body better. Let me just go through the workout to see how it looks. Okay. Oh, I think I will be so I think I'll be needing my shoes for this. Because I've developed a habit of not wearing shoes now for working out. I don't know why. Why am I doing this right now? But I haven't done a butt workout in so long. Oh, a break. We love a break. That's the type of break I need after one exercise, a break, I love her already. So here's one thing that I wanted to talk about. That is hip dips. Now we all think that love handles and hip dips are the same thing. But in fact, it is not. Hip dips are caused by the bone structure, whereas love handles are caused by excess fat around the hips. It is easy to get rid of love handles, but hip dips are not. Yes, you can minimize the hip dip to a certain extent with the help of a proper diet and workout, but it is not possible to get rid of them 100%, mainly because it's purely genetic and you are born with it. So yeah, instead of hating it, learn to love it. Okay, I'm not gonna skip the ad because I'm gonna get that bag. I'm 50% in. Oh shit, I'm starting. I must say, I love the amount of breaks in this video. 
also speaking about my day one as you can see i have very very poor form i'm not doing most of the exercises properly i'm not engaging the right parts of my body so yeah let's see by the end of this challenge if i do get water hips or not but yeah that's it for day one was not too hard i love that she has a lot of breaks like girl she understands hannah Emily, if you're watching this thank you thank you for thinking about us girls who have extremely low energy and who cannot do who cannot do more than one exercise without a break so this is what i'm having for my dinner so i am sort of sore around this area and my hips over here not very very sore only because um, I usually do work out a lot and I didn't do it with a resistant band but from week 2 and week 3 I will be using resistant band okay another day working out with my pajamas I don't know for some reason I am excited to do her workouts so I have started using a resistance band which helps improve balance and strengthen isolated muscle groups also makes it way more challenging my resistant band is from Amazon by the way just in case you're wondering uh, I would recommend you guys to use a resistance band after your body's used to the workout please do not jump into using resistance bands as you might ruin your form and it's too much pressure for your body take it slow so here's my dinner for tonight a lot of protein and veggies inside very healthy Okay, so we are 10 days in. Do I see a difference? I don't know. See for yourself. So this is how I look right now. My hip dips are still there. I realized my... This part is a little fuller than usual. But my hip dips still remain the same. So I started off with 80 and now I'm 81. I think that's progress. Come on. So we have 11 more days to go and then we will see how that goes. Okay, let's get it. That was a killer. Definitely working out with resistance van is really hard. Much harder than you think. I think, I thought it was going to be easy, but it turned out to be hard. But hopefully my body will get used to it. Let's get this hips widened. So it is my last day. As you can see, my body is used to the resistance band. My form has improved quite a bit. And I'm still pretty excited to work out. You know, I just love Hannah Millie's workout and mostly I love the fact that she has reps instead of just a timer so that both sides of the lower body gets worked equally. Man, Hannah Millie deserves the hype you guys. Her workouts are actually good and effective. Y'all better go subscribe to her channel for more workout videos. Her channel will be linked in the description box below. I'm done. I just want to go to bed right now. My hips, on the other hand, feel weird. I feel like I need to start doing like mobility stretches because my hips are just not having it. Let's measure. I started off with 80 centimeters and now I'm 83 centimeters. That is actually progress. That's actually pretty good. The thing for sure is that my this part has definitely grown a lot. Like it's more toned, not grown. I think it's pretty impressive for 21 days for my hips to widen up because guys, we're not talking about um, just our body fat over here. We are actually talking about the bones. And, but I truly believe that in order to actually get rid of your hip dips, you need to fill in muscles like in this side of your body you need to get some muscles over there and that's exactly what she explained as well i would give this like an 8 out of 10 yes this challenge does work it does widen your hips but yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up 
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my social media accounts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.